after a new medical practice located right here in Uptown Butte spoke out recently about facing roadblocks from the county in their months long quest to build an ADA compliant ramp right here on the public right of way in front of their facility, county officials are now speaking out about the ordeal. You know, there's two on the same block and then one over at the standard. We're just asking for very similar. Design. Jamie Decker is the owner of Top Deck Medical Aesthetics and she's been working with Butte Silver Row since July to find a solution to her problem. There is no procedure with Butte Silver Bow right now to apply to encroach on our public right of way to build ADA accessibility to a private business, right? So that is, I know it's a lot of words. Karen Burns is Butte Silverbow's Community Development Director, and she says the issue is complicated. Her colleague, James Olette, the county's ADA coordinator, agrees. So there, there has to be a better policy. And so without that policy, we won't recommend it because we don't want to, we don't want to entrust, you know, taxpayer funds on something that we're going to be held liable for. But that doesn't mean that we are opposing it. We don't oppose it in any way. James Ouellette stepped into his role a few months before taking on the ramp request, so this is his first ramp. But it's not the first time Uptown Butte businesses have faced the issue, and it's not the first ramp in Uptown Butte. In fact, there are three ramps in Top Deck Medical Aesthetics neighborhood alone, but other businesses say they're also facing issues concerning ADA compliance. There's a lot of people that are disabled that are very independent, and if they don't see that, they just assume that you don't have access available for them to come into the restaurant, and that's a disadvantage to all of us business owners. Sonia Zakcha, the chef and owner of La Casa Toscana, has been in her current location for nearly six years. When she renovated her old building, she was not granted permission to put in an ADA-compliant ramp. She now shares a portable ramp with the business next door. Butte always says that we take care of our own, but I don't see how they're taking care of me and helping me be, have access to this building or any of the uptown buildings that don't have these amenities. I don't feel like I'm included. And so that leaves me left out of a lot of things. At the beginning of March, the county put out a request for proposals for a plan that they hope will clear up the issue of not having a proper policy in place. And they acknowledge it's a slow moving process. In the meantime, Jamie Decker says she doesn't have time to wait. Her patients need access now. And ultimately, we have to have ADA access for the clinic. So what we're asking for is reasonable accommodation onto the sidewalk into the public right of way. And Jamie cites Title III of the Americans with Disabilities Act that was signed into law in 1990. She says according to an engineering firm that evaluated her property, the interior and foundation of her 125-year-old building cannot be altered. So it falls on the city to address the issue. It does default to the city to allow for reasonable com accommodation to um, allow for a portion of the sidewalk for a ramp. So legally, I think that also needs to be, be looked at because that's what the law does say. Our office and our, uh, our role that we play in incentivizing investment in these buildings, we could play a greater role in advising folks up front before they get too far down the road with their development that they need to think about accessibility, right? That's something that we can do um, and we can do better at that, I think. In Butte, Megan Thompson, NTN News.